All right, wise Nubian. Hey, it's good to see you. This is um, this is clamboyant. <laughs> the buoyant clam. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Well, I guess they they go around by jet power. You know, they squirt around. They're not so. But I, it's probably you know like more spiritual to be a a a, a buoyant clam. Anyway, man, it's a, that's really funny. So it's really good to see you, man. It's good to see you. I'm sorry I haven't, you know, I haven't um, made a video, man. It's, um, uh, well, we have my, yes, my female's back. And she brought all her femaleness back with her. And uh, and her mother, too. Actually, it's, it's going to be Mother's Day tomorrow. And I have three generations of mothers in here. I've got the grandmother, my girlfriend, and her daughter. So um, i got to figure out something to do, man, or I'm in real trouble. And they're always listening to what I say. So, uh, so yes, the female's back. But what happened was I'm, the the room that the computer is in, um, I gave that up as a guest room uh, to uh, to to my girlfriend's mother. So I'm, my access is really limited to to get to the computer because um, it's it's like a cable connection. So I I can't drag the thing out. But anyway, I will try to sneak in and make videos whenever possible, uh, furtive videos. Uh, what have you yeah and this new job I'm doing is fascinating man I got to tell you about that it's just a fascinating job um, um, investigating discrimination complaints amazing I got to tell you man I got to tell you all kinds uh, yeah hey listen um, I keep looking down here because I, I scribble notes you know um, yeah that 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 little argument there with my father you know um, uh, I agree with you. you, know, you, you most of the abuse is people in power, man. They're the ones. They get drunk. They, for some reason, they're intoxicated with with power. I, it's got to be the lousiest drug ever invented is power, you know. I mean, it's got to be It's got to be a lousy drug. But I guess people like it. Some people like it, man. Um, the 20-year-old that you were speaking to, um, the lesbian woman, um, she's an adult. She's 20 years old. She could talk to anybody. Um, I don't know why people want to intervene and stop conversation. Because when you're, especially when you're asking that sincere, that sincere and deep a question as, you know, can you communicate to me um, how, you know, communicate to me how where you find the origin of your uh, your identity in, you know, whether it's uh, any kind of identity, uh, whether it's a cultural identity, racial identity, sexual preference identity. Um, where does that come from? And hey, man, it's a it's a mystery to me. It's part of nature, you know. Um, so so those kind of questions are some of the best questions that people I think should talk about uh, and learn about each other. I, I think I might have we talked in an earlier video. I think I might have told you about um, my kind of idea that you know our identities, which we spend a long time developing in childhood, uh, which is of course the time when people want to screw with them and tell us what we are instead of letting us really learn our, you know, grow into what we are or experience what we are. They want to, you know, tell us what we are and screw our heads up for the rest of our lives. But whatever it is, our process to form an identity is is a is a difficult and perilous one. Um, and I think a lot of people calcify that off, you know, so that it becomes like hard calcium and uh, their, their identities are frozen. Whereas I think it's much healthier if we have identities that are like membranes. There's a membrane there, kind of like in a tree where there's an exchange between the, the it kind of breathes and there's an exchange of liquid or water with the outside environment and the inside environment. So that, that, that we change when we meet people, you know, that we walk away a little different. We walk away more like the people we meet, um, provided they're good people, you know. Um, and that our identity should be open that way, you know. It takes a lot of courage to live that way, uh, as you know. You know that. Um, uh, but that's the only way to live, man. You know, otherwise we're just these limited. We're walking around in this illusion that we're we're some limited rock walking around. Rock. But anyway, so the question you were asking her, you know, um, totally, totally cool. I mean, it seems to me that back in the 70s, you know, people. Um, I'm about. I'm approximately your age, man. I'm 51. Um, so, I mean, I remember when people used to sit down and have rap sessions and, and, and ask each other, tell me who you are, tell me about yourself, you know, and have, you know, one-on-one -on -one true communication exchanges, you know. Um, that stopped. Uh, I think disco killed it. Uh, you know, the three Ds, disco, Dallas, and Disney uh, back in the 70s. It just, you know, we were on a good track, man. Society was going well. And uh, all of a sudden, man, you know, those few things just reasserted the shallowness and escapism of the, um, 
of the American, the dominant majority American culture, which, which is to say, I think, the, uh, the European culture. Um, what am I seeing here? Oh, yes, I loved how you said uh, that they're trying to structure your questions, you know. Nobody should be structuring your questions or my questions or anybody's questions, you know. I mean, that's kind of a way of preventing the right questions from being asked, right? Um, the bug is back. Yeah, I got a weird email from him. Um, I sent an email back saying, you know, what happened? What's going on? Um, we shall see what we shall see. John Hansen, man. John Hansen. Yeah, I had not heard of John Hansen. I, I didn't know. I, I just looked it up in the encyclopedia because, you know, that's always right. That always tells the truth, the encyclopedia. So I looked him up, and it said he was the um, first president of the of the the um, the original um, what 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 do you what do they call it? The, um, was it a confederation of states um, before before we became a country? And he was the president of the first Congress of that. That made him the highest um, official in the land. I mean, I don't think there was probably a um, there probably wasn't a, um, a, uh, a, you know, I, I'm sorry, man, I'm, I'm losing my language. The skills are just lousy today. I, I can see a word kind of vaguely up there on the blackboard, and then it, the word turns into a symbol I don't understand. It fades away, and I don't understand it. But uh, there was no post, I guess, of, uh, of President of the United States, so there was no President of the United States. So being elected President of the Congress had to be the highest uh, position in the land. I'd love to see some photographs of this guy, you know, even if they're touched up, man. How far can they? How far can they? Uh, how far can they touch him up? You know, I'd love to see some photos. I'm do some research. Thanks, man. I had never, never heard. Of, I, I didn't even know that the Congress elected a president of, of the Congress. You know, so that that's cool. And um, what else? What else? Um, man, we did with that. We did with that. We did that. Um, those are those things, man. Yeah, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear the stuff you have to say, man. Yeah. Um. Um. And I know. Uh. Uh. When I was talking to Steve there, Fourteenth uh, Amendment, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I'd like to hear what you think about that, man. I, and uh, you know, I, I know there's also a couple different conceptions of what the Fourteenth Amendment says. I've heard some people say that they believe that the Fourteenth Amendment has to be reenacted every so many years. So that essentially the citizen status uh, granted. Um, Granted under the Fourteenth Amendment um, to uh, to to uh, well Africans Americans African Americans as being included in the in, in the thing uh, that that would be sort of a temporary deal unless it's reenacted from time to time you know but the um, the encyclopedia here which you know is never never wrong and is never distorted or anything um, I can't find any language like that in there. Um, uh, you know, it just looks like there's no termination date on this thing. Of course, you know, we live in a society, man. Um, I was just I had a video with another guy uh, a few days ago where he, a response video from him that I responded to where he said, you know, hey, you know, that we're some sort of federal republic and uh, they could change the Constitution, right? So I'm curious because I'm not really sure if they tried to pass an unconstitutional law and uh, you know or repeal the constitution i'm not sure what power the judiciary has to say hey that's unconstitutional and just like nix it um i should know that you know but i don't know that um blah 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 uh anyway man it's great to see you you, you know you got a beautiful daughter man she's she's just great and um uh yeah i look forward to talking to you some more man when i can sneak in here uh past these three generations plus they brought the little son so that's four generations um Keep asking those questions, man. Ignore those, ignore those uh, negative naysayer people, man. And I'll tell you some great stories sometime about my father. He was the uh, best private detective I ever met. I've got a couple stories that are just unbelievable, man. Uh, the guy was, the guy was unbelievable private detective. Uh, I was lucky to work with him for about three years, and uh, you know, I guess it was more of an apprenticeship. Uh, because he never paid me. <laughs> he, never, he never paid me. But I learned so much from him, you know, that I, you know, that's, that's stood me in good stead uh, the rest of my life. Uh, you know, that's it. so anyway, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to let you go, man. Thanks a lot. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to, to do this video for you, man. Um, and uh, I will, um, I'll see how things are going over on the, uh, on the uh, the former battlefield, I think we should erect a, a monument or so of some kind. You know, I could use a statue. I think we all deserve a statue. Um, 
Okay, bye-bye, man. Take care. Clamboyant. Out.